okay, we just got a couple more minutes. So let's talk about Standard Bank. It's of course different and it's got the Liberty stake as well, but it is uh, operative in Africa. It's largely exited its international operations. It has that Chinese ICBC, not controlling stake, but anchor stake of about 20 something percent. Market cap 262.2 billion rand, price earnings ratio lower at 10.69, dividend yield of 5.18%. Let's look at the chart. It's actually had quite strong earnings and it's recovered from some missteps and other problems uh, in recent times. The CEO issue has been resolved. Sim Chabalala will uh, assume the sole mantle there and Ben Kruger will step into an executive director role. Uh, anything extra to say? Is it the same story really? Uh, more than 35% of the earnings comes from outside of South Africa. That may cushion the blue to mm. a certain extent with, with a further ratings downgrade. Mm. Because unlike First Rand, they actually went and capitalized uh, bank branches in a whole lot of other yeah. African countries like, you know, Nigeria and Angola, and not uh, Nigeria, Angola. Yes, those are the ones I was trying to mention. I just got the order the wrong way around. Yeah. So that's a plus. And uh, broadly speaking, not making any uh, mess ups, like uh, not having a repeat of the aluminium warehouse saga <laughs> or the yes. big uh, credit yes. card fraud yeah. where they lost 300 million rand in a weekend in Japan. Yeah. Those kinds of things, those would mean that the earnings now will look better. The Liberty thing, is that significant by scale? Liberty's had a, 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 some major problems. I think it's, it's starting to turn the corner. Mm. But uh, no, look, uh, you can't get awfully excited about that uh, side mm. of the business. They will have the same issues though with credit card book being a bit muted and not rolling out lots of new uh, monies. They'll have the same with mortgages where they're a big player alongside some of the others in our market. Yep. So it'll be the same story really. Look, like all of them, it's cheap. I mean, you look at that dividend yield, it's very, very juicy. Yeah. The question is, this is a value trap and mm. it may, like all of the, mm. the, the local banks, be exactly that. Mm. And as we've been discussing quite a few times, we could, in the local investment environment and the consumer environment, have things being a little bit worse before they get better. Yeah. There are, of course, some positive outcomes that could ensue, and there we could see some good. So the idea here is perhaps people need to follow them closely. Not hot for now, but be alert and aware, and it might be quick uh, opportunity to strike if we get yeah. a positive development or two on the local scene. Absolutely. Okay, good. So not hot on that one.